Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. It says, prove that if a line touches a circle and from the point of contact a cord is drawn, the angles which this cord makes with the given line are equal respectively to the angles formed in the corresponding alternate segments. Using the above, do the following. AB is a diameter and AC is a cord of the circle so that angle BAC is 30 degrees. The tangent at C intersects AB produced in a point D prove that BC is equal to BD. Let's now move on to the solution. And let us first write what is given to us. We are given that PQ is a tangent to a circle. With center O at a point A. And AB is a chord and CD are the points. In the two segments of the circle formed by the chord AB. We have to prove that the angles which this chord makes with the given line are equal respectively to the angles formed with the corresponding alternate segments. That is, we have to prove that angle BAQ, that is this angle, is equal to the angle ACB and also angle BAP is equal to angle ADB. So let's now do some construction. Draw a diameter AOE and join EB. So we have drawn a diameter AOE and we have joined EB and what we have to prove is angle BAQ is equal to angle ACB, that is this angle, is equal to this angle and we have to prove that angle BAP, that is this angle, is equal to angle ADP, that is this angle. So let's now start the proof. Now in triangle, AEB, angle ABE, that is this angle, is 90 degrees because it's an angle in semicircle. Therefore, Angle AEB plus angle EAB, that is this angle plus this angle, is 90 degrees. This is because 
sum of the three angles of the triangle is 180 degrees. Since this angle is 90 degrees, so sum of these two angles will be 90 degrees. Now again, as EA is perpendicular to PQ, angle EAB, that is this angle, plus this angle is 90 degrees, that is angle EAB plus angle BAQ. is 90 degrees and angle EAB plus angle BAQ is angle EAQ and why EA is perpendicular to PQ this is because EA is diameter and PQ is the tangent and Diameter is always perpendicular to a tangent to the circle. Let us name this as 1 and this as 2. Now from 1 and 2, we can say that angle AEB is equal to angle BAQ. Now we can see that angle AEB plus angle EAB is 90 degrees and here also angle EAB plus angle BAQ is 90 degrees. So we, from this we can say that angle AEB is equal to angle BAQ. Now also Angle ACB is equal to angle AEB because these are angles in same segment. Now here we see that angle AEB is equal to angle BAQ and also angle AEB is equal to angle ACB. So we have angle ACB is equal to angle BAQ. So we have proved that angle ACB is equal to angle BAQ. Now again, angle BAQ plus angle BAP is 180 degrees. Because it's a linear pair. And also, angle ACB plus angle ADB is 180 degrees because these are the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. From these two we can say that angle BAQ plus angle BAP is equal to angle ACB plus angle ADB. Now from here let us name this as 3. We know that angle BAQ is equal to angle ACB. So this gets cancelled from both sides as angle BAQ is equal to angle ACB. So we have angle BAP is equal to angle ADB and this is what we had to prove.
Hence we have proved that angle BAQ is equal to angle ACB and angle BAP is equal to angle ADB. Now in the next part we have to prove that AB is the diameter and AC is a chord of a circle such so that angle BAC is 30 degrees that is this angle is 30 degrees the tangent at C intersect AB produced in D we have to prove that BC is equal to BD so let's now move on to the second part now we are given that AB is a diameter and we are given that angle BAC is equal to 30 degrees. This is given to us and we have to prove that BC is equal to BD. Now, angle ACB is 90 degrees. Because it's an angle in semicircle. name this as angle 1, this as 2, this as 3, this as 4 and this as 5. Now in triangle ABC, angle 5 is the exterior angle Therefore, angle 5 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2. And angle 1 is 30 degrees, angle 2 is 90 degrees. So, angle 1, angle 5 is 30 plus 90 degrees, that is 120 degrees. Now, also, Angle 1 is equal to angle 3 because these are the angles in alternate segments by the theorem we just proved angles in alternate segment. Therefore angle 3 is equal to 30 degrees. Now we have to prove that BC is equal to BD. For that we will prove that angle 3 is equal to angle 4. This is by the property of isosceles triangle which says that if the opposite angles are equal then sides will be equal. That is sides opposite the equal angles are equal. So we have to prove that angle 4 is also of 30 degrees but angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 is 180 degrees as we know that sum of 3 angles in a triangle is 180 degrees that is angle sum property of triangle now angle 3 is 30 degrees Plus angle 4, angle 5 is 120 degrees, is equal to 180 degrees. So angle 4 is equal to 180 degrees minus 120 degrees minus 30 degrees. So this is equal to 180 degrees 
minus 150 degrees that is 30 degrees so we have got that angle 3 is equal to angle 4 so this implies BC is equal to BD that is sides opposite the equal angles are equal and that is what we had to prove so hence the result is proved so this completes the question and the session bye for now take care have a good day